Are Republicans and their oligarchs who own them trying to kill off poor people and people of color? Check it out. Leave your comments, ding the bell, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. And welcome back. Robbie in Portland, Oregon. Hey, Robbie, what's up? Hey. Just wanted to point out some of the hypocrisy that I'm seeing with the Republicans. Uh, typically, all these Republicans that are, you know, they're, they have, as you had mentioned, you know, they, they're literally saying that people are going to die. They're expecting it. Um, they want it. They said it was patriotic. How can they call themselves pro-life? <laughs> yeah, really. It, uh, you know I mean? it is, like, you know, the moment. I was just going to say, ahead. the moment it's like, uh, you know, it, it affects their, you know, it costs them money. Then they're all of a sudden, you know, like, oh, well, go die for your country, you know. <laughs> but, this, you know, anyway. Right. Um, yeah, I just wanted to point that out. But uh, also the, the, the U.S. Army and FEMA haven't been doing anything uh, except stealing medical supplies. Why do you think that is? Um, I think that Trump is uh, building up a stash to give to the red state governors. And, uh, you know, that's, that's his plan, <laughs> in my opinion. I, I, I really think that he's, he's very, very concerned that, I mean, he, he knows. He's got, he's got actual scientists advising him. He's got Anthony Fauci there. He knows right, right, right. that these red states are going to get wiped out, um, the ones that are well, not doing I, shelter in place. I, it seems to me like this is a plan for their their fascist takeover. This is how they are they're creating discourse amongst us. They're it's a genocide on poor people. The whole reason why you know it's affecting you know black communities is because of the poverty associated in the hospitals themselves there. Uh, okay. And it, it's it's what I see is they're they're pushing forth this agenda, killing poor people. Well, that, that's the, pos the second possible reason why, why they're doing these protests. These protests are exclusively, almost entirely white men, uh, you know, young white men. And, uh, you know, that, it may well be that the statistics are in. I mean, this was my rant last Friday. I've revisited it a couple times this week that it, it, um, it almost seems like they're very happy with that. And it, well, not, not almost seems, it does seem like they're quite happy with the fact that the people who are dying are the older, you know, the, the boomers and, and, uh, and, and people of color, by and large. I mean, you know, black people, 70% of the deaths in Michigan and Georgia and, uh, and, and Louisiana, but they're, they're, you know, 15 more or less percent of the population. Um, this, is, this is, you could argue that this is genocide. This is, this is giving infected blankets to the Indians kind of stuff. So yeah, yeah that's, and, and I, 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 I'm, the, I'm not going to discount that at all, Robbie. The end game is what I'm really concerned about, which is a, a vaccination, uh, a mandatory vaccination, and an ID chip, which is going to determine whether you've been vaccinated or not. I feel like this is kind of pushing forth that end game agenda that all conspiracy theorists are really scared about and have been ranting about. It it really is well, kind of true, though. I mean, we'll, we'll see. I. Th I think it's more likely that these guys have bought into the herd immunity theory. In fact, there's still, you know, some of these conservatives are still using that phrase herd immunity. And what they want is they want, you know, the red states are going to get all exposed and then people are going to be sick and then the people are going to get over it. And now yeah. they're the immune ones and they're going to be the last ones standing, sort of like, you know, the, the end can of the turn. Can I tell you my last, my last prediction? I got a prediction. It's going to happen this Wait. week. Got a prediction for you. Trump and the Republicans are going to start blaming the coronavirus on the Chinese and get compensation from them. Oh, he's already blaming it on them. And and now he's referring to um, to Joe Biden as Beijing Joe. I mean, this is this is what's coming up next. Yeah, Robbie, I think you're right.